Welcome everybody to this new video of TaxPress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your website directly with your actual Facebook. So you need two things, a Shopify store and an actual uh, Facebook account. If you don't have the Shopify website, I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description guys, so we can all get started totally for free and having an actual huge deal to get started with. So now that I have an actual website, now that I have created my website, what I can do is to get started and add this directly into, uh, into my Facebook channel. So let's go here and open a new tab. Now opening a new tab is going to be sending me here. I'm going to go into Meta. Uh, and now Meta is something that's going to be really easy to make the connection of our website. So what I want to be doing here is to go for meta.com. I'm going to leave this like that. I'm going to go back, of course, into my Shopify. And now let's go directly into apps. Now here into apps is going to be popping up this new section where I needed to, of course, install Facebook. So if I click into a specific application, whatever, just hit now into install and the process should be done really, really easy. Now the Facebook meta is not an application, but it's an actual sales channel, but the process actually is really simple and it's exactly the same. So here into the upper side, just tap meta instead of Facebook. And as you see here, we have a lot of applications. Let's focus only into Facebook and Instagram. You wanted to make sure that the developer is meta, reviews and rating are fine. So this is totally unique and good. So let's go here into install. After that, it's going to be asking us with the other application to, of course, add it the, let's see, grant the access. So let's go here into install. And now the actual sales channel, the actual Facebook and Instagram should be added directly into my sales channel, as you can see into the left part. I'm going to pin this into my navigation to see this a little bit down inside the sales channel. Now this is the part where you wanted to connect your Shopify store with the Facebook and Instagram. So let's go here and to get started. Now it's going to be asking you to add a Facebook account in order to continue. So this is the part where I wanted to connect my account. Let's go here into connect account to grant the necessary permissions to allow Shopify to access your Facebook business page. Now this step shows you seems linked between your store and into Facebook. So let's go here into continue. And if you don't have a Facebook page, it's going to be asking you to create a new one. So you can scroll all your way down and go for create new Facebook page. So I'm going to hit now into create new, go to Facebook. And this one should be sending me into the creation of a website. So here I'm going to type the page name, the category, the bio, and my website should now be created. So in this case, let's go, for example, for Bulgo. The category, let's go for jewelry, watches, and so much more stuff. And bio, let's say we sell. Now this one actually sent me into the Commerce Manager. Now the Commerce Manager is going to be helping you to set up a user partner platform. So in this case, usually what we do is to only choose Shopify. So installing this Facebook and Instagram application should be done directly in here. So I'm going to just close this, of course. Now that we are here, I'm going to go back, of course, and choose the website that we have just created. In this case, that would be this one. Now let's hit now into connect. And as you see here, it's going to be asking you to connect a business account. If you don't have one, you have to worry about that. You can create a new one. Actually, the process is really simple. Now I'm going to just leave this like that as it is and hit now into continue. Now usually it's going to be asking you to add a trial version, a trial metapixel. Usually what we do is to just focus into something we have just created automatically. Just leave it as it be. Accept the terms and conditions and hit now into continue. Now this is the part where the actual channel setup is going to wait in a few minutes. Of course, this needed to be, uh, let's say, approved by Shopify. My website is now being created. My Facebook page is now being created. Now what? If I go back into my Shopify, you should see that we have now this section that says under review. So that means that here into the settings, what we can do is to just focus and to just waiting and adding elements into our store. Usually what we do is just to make sure that I have added the verification process directly in here. So as you see now, we can be able, we have connected now the Facebook inside of Shopify, but in order to sell directly into Facebook, it's going to be asking us to complete the shop verification. So for that, we're going to go here into the continue verification. And of course, it's going to be asking us to add everything about our website. Let's go here into start verification. And here is going to be asking us to verify everything about our website. 
And that is actually it, guys. It's just a matter of verifying your website, your shop, and you're actually good to go. Even you can sell stuff directly into Instagram since Meta works with Facebook and Instagram at the same time. So there you have it. Connecting your Shopify store with Facebook in 2024. If you find this guide helpful, guys, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify insights. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hit that notification bell. Thank you for joining us today, guys. And here to reach new highs with the Shopify store through the power of Facebook. Hopefully, guys, we can all see you next time. And once again, you have the link down below in the description to get started with Shopify. See you soon.